So welcome everyone. Welcome to the 2020 Sales Trends Virtual Breakfast. The time is now. What a year it's been and what a treat we have for you today, especially after we had to cancel this event on the 25th of March for all the obvious reasons. Um, today we'll be exploring the 2020 sales trends, which seem to be even more relevant now than they actually were when we wrote them back in late 2019. We have our esteemed panel, Alison Rowe, Chief Executive Officer for Australian Energy Foundation, Ben Shute, CEO for Comprara, Carl Mattingly, CEO of Disrupt Labs, Stephanie McKenzie, General Manager, Community Sales at Stockland, and Toby Kent, entrepreneur, professional speaker, and business advisor. You also have me, your host, Sue Barrett, and also Jens Hartman, our co-host, who will be coordinating any questions that you have throughout the uh, webinar. So please, if you have questions, uh, just post them in the Q&A section that you can see below on your Zoom link here. First, let me welcome you all to country. I am presently located in the Kulin Nation, and I want to pay our respects to all nations, elders past and present and emerging, wherever you may be as well, so thank you. 2020 marks many things, it seems, but it also marks actually 25 years in business for Barrett. Over these years, we've seen many things, good and bad and indifferent, when it comes to managing businesses and sales teams successfully or otherwise. Fads, trends, myths, hype, well-worn facts, new innovations and home truths have all been part of this 25 year journey. We've talked with over one, we have talked with over 10,000 business leaders from C-suite and sales about their issues, concerns, ideas and opportunities when it comes to sales strategy, sales operations, processes, sales people and culture. Some have been the early adopters and pragmatists, those who could see changes, took the lead and adapted, catching the opportunities early, while others were closed off and preferred to talk about what change, in, you know, about change instead of actually taking decisive action. They bided their time and remained with the status quo until it became a crisis, which left many of them scrambling to secure their future. It begs the question, with everything we need for positive change and progress available to us now, why wait for a crisis to secure our future? How ironic and possibly prophetic that we wrote these words back in December 2019. Despite the mighty disruption and distress of COVID pandemic, it seems this crisis has been the accelerant needed to bring forward many positive changes and progress that we need. Governments, industry bodies and the global business community who have been talking for decades about making changes and taking action to address climate change, reduce the impact of industry on our environment, reduce waste and CO2 emissions, create ethical supply chains, deliver viable innovations and alternative strategies and triple bottom lines that create more and better sustainable businesses and communities now seem to be turning their talk into action. Many are stepping up to take purposeful and decisive action and make positive changes in the way we do business, the way we sell and the way we measure success. The traditional business paradigms of the last 50 to 60 years seem to be passing their use by dates and no longer working. The mantra of sell and consume more, more, more no longer has a place in the new normal, it seems. We are discovering better ways of doing business where companies and sales teams can be a force for good and contribute to a better society, a better world. The evidence is here Organisations can be profitable and do business and sell in a way that protects the world's finite resources and is good for the economy and society now and in the long term. Instead of waiting for governments, many businesses and communities have already taken the lead and walking the talk on positive change, ditching short-termism, embracing collaboration with colleagues, clients, suppliers, communities and other stakeholders as they adapt to a COVID normal an emerging post-consumerism world. So welcome to this belated event, the Barrett 2020 Sales Trends Business Event, where we will look at what businesses can do now to prosper for the betterment of their teams, clients, communities, and for the sustainable future of our planet. We will take a look at the big global trends that are affecting businesses, customers, consumers, and communities everywhere. We will also explore the practical trends that are affecting how we buy and sell under the pressing mantle of these big global trends. 
AI, crowd sales forecasting, new sales funnels, tenders, procurement, uh, soft skills revolution, and sales education practices that can help people sell better faster. So as we transition to a new paradigm of business, the new and better normal, we ask the questions, what are we selling now? And what are we buying now? The time is now. So thank you for making the time to be here. We're going to kick off our panelist discussions. And as I mentioned, please feel free to post any questions you have in the Q&A section below. Jens will curate those. And we aim to have 15 minutes towards the hour where we can actually open up for more Q&A with our panelists. We aim to finish around 9am, but if you do want to stay on a little bit afterwards, we can still carry on with questions.